I'm dying. I try to. Hi guys. Oh my God, guys. I have been gone almost two weeks. I have had the flu. I have been so so sick. I don't know if I still sound sick. I still feel a little sick, but I'm at like 75 percent, 80 percent better. So you know how to come back, guys. I know I owe you guys videos. I usually upload for those of you who have not been watching me and who are new to my channel, I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And for the past week, I have not uploaded. Along with this week, today is Wednesday, so I am uploading today. Yeah, today's Wednesday, so I'm uploading today. So I owe you guys like four videos. So within the next coming days, I'm going to try to be consistently uploading every day until I catch up with the three videos that I do owe you guys. I believe it's three or four. I'm not sure, but I'll throw some bonuses in there as well. And besides that, guys, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot to cover. Trust me, I have a lot of material for you guys. So I am happy to be back and I am happy to see you guys. Hi, how have you guys been? What is the latest YouTube drama? What has been going on? What did I miss? Um, uh, comment down below and let me know what's new in the YouTube world. Um, so today, we will be using... I got the Scylla sponge in the mail. Okay. And I was squeezing... I couldn't help but like just like squeeze it. Look, when you squeeze it. It's like a... A jelly see it takes a while to go it's almost like a gel it's silla sponge i believe it's silicone it feels like foam almost look at how cool that is it's supposed to be better than the actual beauty blender okay guys so today i will be applying the foundation with my silly sponge i've been dying to get this to try it out <laughs> Because I hear great things. I hear that you can save product when using this. So uh, uh, as opposed to the beauty blender where the beauty blender actually sucks product up, you can save product using this. So, you know, you can save your money, girl. You know, we always trying to save them coins, hunty. Always trying to save them coins. So if you look at my eyebrows, guys, my eyebrows are in critical condition, this thing. So lately, I am tweezing my eyebrows, but I am tweezing them only a little bit because I am letting this eyebrow grow out. My eyebrows, you know, are not looking up to par, Miss Thing, because I had a fallout with my eyebrows where I was rushing to do them. Um, and I believe I said this in another video. I was rushing to do my eyebrows, girl, and I just like phew, took like a patch off my freaking eyebrow over here. And then this one is like, oh, decent girl. I'm just letting these puppies grow out. Eat all off. Forget about it. So, <coughs> <coughs> let me catch my breath, okay? So today, I'm going to be using the Fit Me Foundation with a Zicilla sponge. And I am going to pour this in the back of my hand. I have been loving the Fit Me late, lately, guys. Um, let me know if you've ever used Fit Me by uh, Maybelline. Also, I had used the... Um, the other one by uh, L'Oreal, which one, what is it called? The uh, L'Oreal Infallible. But when they had the matte one, I heard they came out with a dewy one. Let me know if you guys have tried that. I think I'm going to try that next. So here we go. We're going to put some product in the back of our silly sponge. And we're going to go ahead and start to apply. Let me just come up so you guys can get a better visualization. I can't tell you from putting it on. It does, it feels like plastic on your face, guys. Um, it's not as, it doesn't feel as nice as the Beauty Blender does. Um, however, I'm noticing that it's automatically filling my pores. I'm using this without a primer or a, um, without a primer or any type of base. Because I wanted to see how it works on its own. I know the Beauty Blender you can use without a primer and you still get a flawless finish. Um, of course, I don't encourage using without a primer for the simple fact that um, it's good to protect your skin. But I am doing this for the sake of this video, so this makeup is coming off right after application. Um, now, if you notice, guys, um, I am already not liking this application. I will come in closer. I hope you can see the clarity of this. Um, I don't like how this is applying. 
Um, it is kind of weird the way it is applying. Um, I know some people really like this silk sponge, and I've heard a lot of things about it. But I gotta say, guys, that this is not working out for me. I am literally putting this into my skin. I will get more product. And I feel like I have a plastic bag. I feel like I'm applying foundation with a plastic bag. Seriously. Like, there's no... I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's just... It's like it's on my face, but my face isn't soaking the makeup up. Like, it's just gliding on my face. This feels really bad. And it looks bad as well. So, I know a lot of girls like using this. Um, this has gotten a lot of good reviews, but as for me, I'm going to show you close up if you can see those streaks. Hopefully you can. Can you see the streaks on my face? Let me see. So this is not applying well. I do not like the way this is applying at all, guys. This is not giving me a good application. Um, it is going on patchy on my skin. I don't know if it depends on your skin type when using this. But this is looking horrible. Mm, 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 mm. Misting. This foundation is not looking good at all. Okay? So, guys, I'm definitely going to um swap this out for my beauty blender at this point because this is just what it's doing it's just sliding the, the 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 makeup all over my face it's not actually applying the makeup in the sense that the makeup isn't grabbing to my face it's just slipping and sliding the makeup all over my face so i can only imagine with a primer how much worse this will get um if you guys would like me to demo this again using a primer i will but as for using the Silla Sponge, guys, I don't like it for myself. This is my personal opinion. I don't like its application. Um, it's just literally sliding the makeup. Um, and the makeup is drying. And like, what the hell? No. This isn't going to work for me, guys. No. Sorry, Silla Sponge. Bye. <laughs> No, yeah, so we're we're done with the Silla Sponge, guys. That's that's not going to work. Like, I really just want to take this foundation off at this point. Oh, my God. Yeah. Let's get this off our face, guys. Oh, my God. That is horrible shit right there, guys. Whoa. I heard for some girls, though, I heard, like, great reviews about this Silla Sponge shit. Oops. <laughs> That's another thing. I'm trying not to curse as much, guys. I know a lot of people, like, really don't like me cursing. And I get that. I totally get that. Um, you, These videos are, are for fun. Um, if it does become, like, a job, like, a, a full-time job, then I would stop cursing. Because in a professional environment, you do conduct yourself a different way, in a different manner. Yas. Yas, Hansi. But for right now, I am just having fun with you guys and sharing my experiences with you um this this freaking foundation that applicator hunty no 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 i will not be using that applicator no more miss thing that thing like really just was like smearing the shit on my face like what <laughs> what you say what be smearing shit on my face like that, hunty. No, mm -mm. guys, I tried to review this for you, but apparently I didn't make it <laughs> halfway through the review, Miss Thing, because that thing was just like sliding all over my face. It was no, no, yeah. I sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to give this guy a serious thumbs down. Hey guys, and so I just wanted to come back and show you guys when I apply my foundation with my beauty blender, just the application that I get and how much better it is my skin is taking to the um, foundation. And still, 
I have not put on a primer. But this actually, like, like it melts into my skin. And look, I'm going to come close so you guys can see that when I use the Beauty Blender, I don't get my makeup doesn't, like, smear all over the place. And it's not just, like, sitting on my skin as with the Scylla sponge. It was kind of like the makeup was just sitting on my face. It was weird. It's very... Very strange, very weird. And I usually just don't need a lot, you know, because I know that was a problem. That was an issue, too, why people were using the Scylla sponge to begin with was to save money, to save product, you know. And I kind of don't have that problem. Like, I put my product, and yeah, my sponge will soak up some product, but it's not to the point where I feel like I'm losing money. Like, you know what I mean? I really don't because I mean the the sponge soaks up the product guys but there's product on the sponge when it's soaked it's still like I can still feel the wetness the dampness of the sponge you know what I mean so like I really don't know where that was coming from because yes the the beauty blender soaks up the product but it's also distributing the product as well you know, I love this foundation, guys. It seriously looks like I have nothing on. Like, seriously. Close-up of my foundation. There is no smearing of the skin. And this, I love this. Lately, this Fit Me foundation has really been giving me life. Like, seriously. It feels like I'm wearing literally no foundation. Um, I have really been enjoying it and liking it, so let's give a thumbs up for that, Hansi. So yes, guys, now I'm just gonna, you know, finish my makeup and move on to my next uh, video. But I just wanted to show you guys that with the Beauty Blender, how much better of an application I got or I get, okay? I like to give products a fair review, and I don't want to say the Scylla sponge isn't good if I didn't give it a fair chance. I did give it a fair chance, hunty, and it is not working for me. So, thank you guys. Okay, guys. So, that is my view. My, my view. <laughs> that is my review for the Scylla uh, sponge. The Scylla sponge. <laughs> that is my review for the Scylla sponge, guys. I did not like it. I do not recommend it. I am sorry. If it works for you. That's great, but I did not like it, so bye, Silas. Thank you for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Yes. <laughs> bye. Girl, I know you didn't see my video all the way to the end and forget to subscribe. <laughs> Hi. What are you still doing here? <laughs> Go subscribe.